Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So there's a lot going on with Corona and everything right now and I don't know the next time that I'm gonna get to go to Disney and I'm missing Disney a lot. That being said, I've been scouring eBay a lot for pins. Not that I can afford them, but you know, I've been doing a lot with pins lately and I figured that I would show you my collection. So everything that I have is on or in this bag right now. It's a very small collection as of right now. I've been collecting on and off my entire life. There's been years where I've collected and years where I haven't. Um, but right now I'm definitely into it and I figured why not show you what I've got. I've seen a lot of videos like this so uh, let me know if you're interested in more Disney related content. Anyway, let's get started. So before we start with the actual pins, I figured I would show you the lanyards that I have. There's four of them right here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few and I will start showing them to you. So this one, I guess, has an American theme. It's my oldest one. I think it's from 2010 or 2011. Um, my dad's friend is getting rid of a lot of pins and you will see some of them on my uh, bag in a moment but um, he gave me this lanyard and it had a bunch of pins on it. And I really like this one because it has like this like patriotic Mickey on the pin trading card. And I like that. So then this one I believe is from 2012. Um, yeah, I believe it's from 2012 or 2011. Um, it is the Disney Nerds. Uh, I believe this is from a starter set. Um, it came with pins. I have a few of them on my bag, as you'll see. Um, Goofy's on there. I love Goofy. And, um, yeah. So there's this Nerds one. Then I have, um, this 2018 one. This also came from a pin trading starter set, uh, that I got at the Florida Outlet Mall, I believe. One of the outlet malls in Orlando. Um, I bought it because it was for $3 for four pins and I traded most of the pins away. But, um, I also really like this lanyard because 2018 was the year that we got Vacation Club. And you'll see some of my Vacation Club pins and buttons and things in a moment. Um, and then this is my most recent lanyard. I believe I got it in 2018 as well. Um... I really like it. It's got the cats on the one side, so it's got the cats from Aristocats and the Siamese cats, Oliver, Lucifer, and then on the other side it has the dogs, and I bought this one because I love cats. <laughs> I have two of my own, and yeah, and I actually use this one to hold my keys and things, and I really like this uh, little keychain that my friend Sierra made for me. It's Mickey and the Trans Pride flag. And, um, this little ID holder is from Loungefly. It's their Hunchback collection. So now I'm going to show you the buttons that I have. I have six of them to show you today. Um, let's start at the top here. Uh, Lifetime of Magic, Dream It Forward, Disney Vacation Club member since 2018. Sorry for the noise in the background. These are the... Sorry for the noise. Um, these are the pins that they, or buttons that they give out for free in the Vacation Club Lounge above the Imagination Pavilion at Epcot. And I got one of these the first time that I went up there and I put the year on there. Um, this is from Ariel's Grotto at Disney's California Adventure. Uh, when you do the character meals at Disneyland, um, they give you buttons with your reservation, and we did Ariel's Grotto when I went to Disneyland in 2017. So there's that pin. Um, and then uh, first visit Disneyland. Uh, I went to Disneyland for the first time in 2017. I only went once, but it was really fun, and I got this button to celebrate that. On this side, uh, the first button I have is uh, the Little Mermaid Live. They were giving these away outside of Voyage of the Little Mermaid at Hollywood Studios the week that 
Little Mermaid Live premiered on ABC. Um, we were there for Wine and Dine, the run Disney event. And um, yeah, so I got one of these and I really like it because it has John Stamos and Ellie Lee Carvalho and Queen Latifah and all that great stuff. And then I have this one. I just as soon kiss a Wookiee. Uh, it's got Princess Leia on it from Empire Strikes Back, I believe. Um, and I don't know where this one's from. It was my dad's. I found it in a drawer and I took it. And then finally, uh, Chippendale's Critter Breakfast at Storytell's Storytellers Cafe, which is the same uh, from the same line of buttons as the Little Mermaid one here. So let's get ready. So here's an overview of all of my pins before I get in closer and show you each one individually. Um, let's start over here. So here's kind of like my vacation club section. Um, this one is from that starter set I was telling you about. It's the only one that I kept. It also came with Mickey and Minnie and Donald. And I only kept the Goofy one because Goofy is my favorite um, Fab Five character, and yeah, and I kept it because I like Goofy and also because it represents the year that we got Vacation Club. Speaking of Vacation Club, these are the three hotels we've stayed at with Vacation Club points. Uh, we stayed here in 2018, December. Um, it was the first hotel we stayed at with Vacation Club, um, I love it. It's really nice. Uh, we stayed there in December for my birthday and it was really great. It's like a beach themed hotel. Then in 2019, in April, we stayed at Saratoga Springs for one night. Uh, we went to a concert and then went to Disney the next day and we stayed here. Um, I didn't like it as much, but it's still a really nice hotel. It's like up, um, upstate New York, Saratoga, and the horse races and stuff. Then we stayed at All Star with, not with um, Vacation Club points or anything, but we stayed at the All Star Resort in uh, November for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. Um, yeah. They changed the rooms. I don't like it as much. We used to stay there a lot before we got Vacation Club. Uh, I don't like this hotel as much, but I stayed there, and so I figured I'd get a pin to celebrate. And then, um, this pin is from December of 2019, when we stayed at the Animal Kingdom Lodge for one night for a concert, and then Disney the next day. Um, that was for my birthday. And Animal Kingdom Lodge is my favorite of these four hotels. Moving down here, I have these two grand opening of Shanghai pins. I'm sure you've seen them a lot. They were on clearance at the outlet malls and anyone that went there bought them because they were like 50 cents a piece and they were great for trading. These are the only two that I have left, Daisy and Chip. So moving down here, um, I have this Yeti pin. I believe I pin traded for this with some of the pins that my dad's friend gave me. This pin I got pin trading at um, Port Orleans Riverside. That was before I collected hotel pins. Um, I believe I was around 10, so it was like 2011, 2012. It is the butler from Horizons, which is one of my favorite attractions. I was born in 2001 and never got to ride it, but I'm nostalgic for an Epcot I never got to see. Then we have Remember, uh, Opening October 1971. This is one of my favorite pins. It's the clock from above the train station in the Magic Kingdom. I don't know where I got this one. I think it's from the set that my dad's friend gave me. But yeah, I really like that one. Then we've got a dining plan right here. Um, we used to do a dining plan a lot, and I wanted something to commemorate that. I believe I got this pin trading at Wilderness Lodge. We went there for lunch at Whispering Canyon Cafe one day and I got this there by the pool, I believe. So then these next few pins are from a set from the Disney store, I believe. 
um, from 2012, if I'm not mistaken. It is uh, Disney characters, Fab Five characters eating park snacks. So as you can see here, I've got one Mickey eating an ice cream bar and Donald with a Dole Whip, Chip and Dale with popcorn, Pluto with a pretzel, Minnie eating cotton candy, and Goofy with this Mickey Mouse shaped pizza, which is my favorite because I like Goofy a lot. Then I have this one, which I believe came from that set that my dad's friend gave me. It's Donald with the Sorcerer's Hat at MGM Studios. I really like this one because um, MGM Studios is something I'm really nostalgic for. Speaking of MGM Studios, I have this um, Toy Story pin. It is the uniform that the cast members used to wear outside of Toy Story Mania. I believe it's a fake, but I don't really mind all that much. Um, then I have this skateboarding pin. The wheels actually rotate. I don't love this one, and I'm probably going to trade it. I believe it came from that set that my dad's friend gave me. Then I have this Dale, which I believe I traded for at Disney Springs one day. I might trade it again. I don't really like it that much. Um, Odessia. I believe her name is Oswald's girlfriend, I got from either Living with the Land or the Hollywood Studios parking lot. I don't remember exactly, but I traded for her. Um, then these three pins I got... Uh, from that Nerds starter set. I also had one, I believe I bought that lanyard on its own actually, and then I had one with one of the square lanyards like the cast members wear um, that came with these. And I believe it came with a few more, but I might have traded them. I'm not sure. Um, I bought these the last time I collected pins, so that was around 2011. And there's a Stitch here, and a Mickey, and a Minnie. So if we move up here, there's um, Bolt. I believe my aunt gave me this one. I, um, I really liked Bolt as a kid. I had a Bolt plush and um, I really liked Bolt as a kid. The first time I saw it was when it was still in theaters aboard the Disney Wonder cruise ship. So up here are my three uh, Christmas pins. There's this... Um, Jiminy Cricket, I have no idea where it came from. I might have traded for it. it, might have come from that set that my dad's friend gave me. This one, I believe I got at a Christmas party one year. This one, I know I got at a Christmas party one year as it says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2011 and it spins, it's got Snowman, Mickey and Minnie and the reindeer and my favorite, the uh, Tin Soldiers. Moving up here, I have this Tinkerbell one. I might have traded for it, I don't remember. Uh, here are my two Run Disney pins. I've done two Disney races in my life. This was the first one I did, uh, Disney Princess. I actually had to tape it closed because it kept staying open, but it's got Elena on it on the outside, uh, Disney Princess 5K. And when you open it up, it says 2019, I did it, Run Disney, and it's got the castle in the background, which I really like. And then I bought this one, the second race that I did in 2019 at the Fall Feast 5K, and it's got Baloo and he runs. Uh, I've got this um, Hades pin that I traded for, I believe, at Epcot. This one, I believe, is from <sighs> the Magic Kingdom. It's really old. It's from like 2003, I believe. Um, I believe my parents got it for me when I was a little kid, because when I was little, Ariel was my favorite princess. And then, um, actually, let's, let's shoot down here and then we'll come back around, because I have more Little Mermaid pins here. The Sebastian one, I believe, came from that set that my dad's friend gave me, um, and then Ursula I traded for, I believe. And then my final two pins, this Tiana one, um... I believe my aunt gave it to me. I ran into her at Disney on my birthday at Epcot in the Mexico Pavilion, and I believe this was a birthday present a long time ago. And then finally, 
there's a funny story behind this one so I used to not care about like the limited edition pins or anything I would just get what I wanted and I remember um me and my entire family went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in 2010 or 11 I believe maybe even earlier than that 2009 maybe 2008 2008 I remember because um the new Space Mountain had not opened yet um and I remember so it was me my parents and like all of my cousins and my grandparents and we went and it was like a huge party um and I remember we were leaving and I bought this pin in the Emporium instead of like buying any like actual Halloween party uh merchandise I bought this Hannah Montana pin I loved Hannah Montana at that time so yeah. so there you go my friends there is a look at my pin collection as of May 12th 2020 I plan to expand it quite a bit um I'm looking for hunchback pins especially that's my favorite Disney film um but yeah if you guys want to see more Disney content from me uh excuse me if you want to see more disney content from me like this video subscribe you know all that stuff um yeah we'll we'll see where this goes <laughs> thanks for watching